Hello and welcome to Market Insights. I'm Kirsty Spicer. Our local market has given back yesterday's gains, losing 18 points in early trade. Comments from RBA board member John Edwards have highlighted just how much the RBA want the currency lower. Consequently, the dollar has lost over half a cent against the US dollar. The message to take from this is the RBA are mindful of the exchange rate and could cut rates to lower it. Manufacturing and tourism will be back to struggling if the dollar remains at current levels. Materials have been hit the hardest, losing over 1%. BHP, Rio Tinto and Fortescue Metals are all well into the red, dragging the sector down. A lot of the negativity towards the sector today is driven by concerns of oversupply in the copper, nickel and aluminium markets. Commodities historically move in much the same direction, so the fear is iron ore could be an oversupply. At present, iron ore would not be considered to be an oversupply, but it is a realistic possibility in three or four years' time based on current information. Utilities are having a resilient day, having gained 0.1%. Unlike other sectors, utilities have some insulation from constantly changing long-term interest rates and currency. Although tapering is on hold for now, the market's strong reaction from yesterday is an indication of the jumpiness that can be generated from the Fed's monetary policy. Utilities offer some protection against instability that could drive prices lower. Afternoon trade is expected to remain tepid. Investors are feeling less enthusiastic than yesterday. And that's your Market Insights.